you had to get up at the crack of dawn on a mosquito infested island in completely in the nude to shoot this final scene. <laughs> how was how yeah. that? Now's the time for Gab and Chatter. All right, uh, Pete, uh, I hear that there is an interview that we are about to do with. Yeah, power player, mm-hmm. Terrence Martin, who's a writer, director, star of a new movie, Get Away If You Can, who's making their, right, yeah. they're making their ex- exclusive debut on Tubi um, on December 15th. So we, we got him on the back line right now. Terrence, hi. How's it going, buddy? How are you? How's it going? Good to see you, man. So Get Away If You Can, this is starring uh, Dominique Braun and yourself, Terrence Martin, also written by, directed by, and also stars Ed Harris. Yeah, it was awesome to work with Ed. The, the whole reason this became a movie that you've even seen is really due to Ed. It started out as an experimental film, just my wife and I going and riffing and improvising on an island off the coast of Chile called Robinson Crusoe Island. Oh, cool. And we showed it to Ed, and he said, you guys have something really special here, and I'll I'll play a role, and, and let's take this to the next level. So we, we really owe it to him. Did I hear you correctly? You did this with your wife? Yeah, my wife is my co-director and my co-writer, oh my uh, basically because it started off with her and I improvising these two characters that were at the end of their marriage. They decided to take this boat trip to see if they'll put it all back together again. Mm-hmm. See, anybody who's lived on a boat knows that's a horrible <laughs> idea. So they end up on this island, but we had like so many couple friends. We, we, we were like completely in love. We had so many couple friends that were struggling and we thought, wow, like I, well, there's a good story there about a couple that can try to re-get love as opposed to just falling in love, having it go away and then getting it back again. Mm-hmm. But when the love seems to be gone, can you get it back? That was kind of the questions we were asking when we originally put together this movie. The stuff with Ed, was that uh, filmed in the San Francisco Bay Area? Because it looked kind of like the watchdogs of the Bay in the background of those shots. It looks similar, but it's Long Beach. It's ah, the port of Long Beach. Okay. And that's what you're seeing in the background. Long Beach is LA's major port, it's yeah. one of the major ports of the world. But that that make, same, same kind of look. Yeah. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It, like you said, it's it's not like anything you've quite seen. It's really hard to put like a specific genre on it. So, you know, I yeah. would say for the listeners, you know, go watch it. It's streaming uh, exclusively on Tubi starting December 15th, so you can watch it for free. But, um, you know, don't go in with any preconceived notions. You know, IMDb has whatever genres that it's kind of set as, but it, it, yeah. it it's somewhere in between all of that. So I I kind of equated it to La, La Aventura mixed with Midsummer. So like... Oh yeah, God. I love that comparison. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because we improvise the scenes, there's a certain realisticness to the scenes with my wife and I yeah. that are, are unnerving to some people. They're just, they don't know what to do with them because we're so used to scripted acting, you know, which feels very different than just real human behavior. So we were going for this like ultra realistic, but I think some people, it was a little intense for them. And I wanted this to be Basically for us, we didn't even we weren't even prepared to put it out until really? Ed decided to come on board. Yeah, that's really cool. Mm. That you ending, know. man, it really <laughs> ramps up, and the end, that third act is like, holy shit, that went some places I didn't <laughs> expect. Yeah, that's what we were going for. You know, like we wanted to introduce all the tropes of a thriller in the first act, but then have it be like, no, like yeah. why why do you have to have a gun go off in the third act? Who you know, I know that's a the Chekhov's uh, gun. A, yeah, a, yeah, that, mm. exactly. We got criticized like we knew that that's why we did that like (laughs) i think it was uh hitchcock i think it was hitchcock says you know tell the audience a bomb's gonna go off in a minute and it goes off in a minute they'll be in suspense for a minute but tell them it's gonna go off in in a minute and it never goes off they'll be on suspense for the rest of the movie yes yeah totally so just by introducing that you kind of create like how crazy is this guy like where is this gun gonna be used yeah i legitimately had no idea where it was gonna go and i didn't expect the the final scene on the beach I was like, yeah. I, I, I was like, what the, <laughs> what that came out of, and that was, I saw it on a number of most memorable scenes from 2023 lists of the year. And yeah. I, I saw, I saw some posts from you and some comments on Twitter, uh, at sharp reef is your handle. And, uh, yeah. that it was, you had to get up at the crack of dawn on a mosquito infested Island in completely in the nude to shoot this final scene. <laughs> how was, how was yeah. that? <laughs> Well, that was nuts, man. What's crazy about that is we shot that after the original island. So that's right in Malibu Colony. Really? So we, we actually had two of our producers as guards. <laughs> and it was just before people start walking. Because in California, people start walking as soon as it's light. So yeah. they were like holding off people. We got the scene and just oh ran out of there. Mm-hmm. And it's totally, totally <laughs> stolen. But, but I mean, to anybody who had seen that. They would have thought we were, you know, shooting not not a uh, not an art house film. Not no. a- <laughs> <laughs> and the beard was real, I'm assuming, right? 
Yeah, I had I had so much time to wait for Ed that I just decided <laughs> to grow it out. Do you, oh, you realize great. how fake must 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 mustaches even on giant high budget films like you're like that does not work no. on my eye. We did not want that at all. Yeah, no, it, it's and it's it's almost like the uncanny valley. It's like when you see someone with a, a bad wig. And you're like, okay, I, I'm, 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 I'm too focused on the wig or the, or the beard, yeah. beard wig to focus on the story at this point. Yeah, so. it becomes a focal point at that. Well, yeah, so. <laughs> exactly. Your, your, your brain is chakra of hide of the fakeness. Yeah. Well, I, I got to say, it, it's hard. So I know how difficult productions on a boat can be, and this seems like a high budget production because you're never at any time confused about what's happening on the boat or the the confines of the boat. And, uh, you know, everybody says working with kids and animals and on shooting on water is the hardest thing. And you guys seem really natural with it. I know you spend a lot of time on the water and you're a big surfer and all that stuff. So it, it shows and it's all yeah. pretty awesome. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I hope I hope people catch on with it. We have a certain percentage that absolutely fall in love with our film that write us on Instagram and tell us how much it meant to them. So if we can get that 5% and, you know, have millions and millions of people see it, we're, we're happy with that. Yeah. One of my favorite movies is 2001. And I was shocked when I read the initial reviews when that came out. Like, mm -hmm. I think that movie is a staggering work of genius. Mm -hmm. And I find something new when I see it all the time. But I think because there's some ambiguity in it, mm -hmm. um, it, it, it leaves people to question it. And, and there is a bit of ambiguity in our film intentionally. And um, not to compare it to 2001, but as far as the ambiguity goes, I, I would um, I would put us in that same category where you would be right. You you could be right if you said it was the worst oh, yeah, film, okay. and you could be right if you said it was the best film. I I wouldn't try to argue with you on either. Yeah, um, no, abs absolutely. It's um. I would argue with you if you call it a stock film. Though. If you said, hey, this is just like this, or we're copying someone else. I would say that's bullshit because we're not at all. We we didn't even reference mm -hmm. other films when we when we composed shots. We we didn't want to do that at all. It was all just between us and our DP and whatever looked uh, right for the mood we were going for nice no that's 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 awesome i uh i i love it and i think that our, our listeners will love it and if you don't at least you're going to see something that's an absolute passion project and is a very pers <laughs> yeah, exactly. personal uh, movie so yeah so everybody everybody's listening to this whether it's on the twitch stream the youtube or the podcast go out mm -hmm. to uh to be december 15th was in just a few days when this goes live and uh check out it's called get away if you can Go have no pre preconceived notions or any sort of uh, ideas about what you're getting yourself into. Just let it wash over you in the in the beautiful uh, Chilean uh, countryside. <laughs> exactly. Hey, man. Thanks. Yeah. We got to get you as a as a public relations member. Next time. <laughs> that was a great pitch. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate yeah, no problem. Class dismissed. I gotta get out of here. The bell doesn't dismiss you. I dismiss you. You are free to go. See you next week. See you later. See you later. That's a wrap. Great show.